us today is uh, where are your accusers? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where are they? Your accusers. Where are they? Where are your accusers? Father, I bless you in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As your children stand before these premises, yes. may you stand with them. Amen. May you strengthen them Amen. with the living word of God. Amen. Empower them. Amen. Enlighten them. Amen. And I pray that, Father, as they have come, they will all return back home to say. Meet each and every brother and sister that is here at the point of their knees. Amen. Give you glory, Father. And like God that answered it by fire. Come and take control. Amen. I surrender my soul to you, Holy Spirit. You may use me as this is you. Amen. Not as I desire, but as you God desire. Amen. Bless you all. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The book of John, chapter 8, from verse 1 to 11. Amen. Amen. And the message the Lord has for us today is that where are your accusers? Amen. 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 And I read with you from verse 1. So, but Jesus went to the mountain of Olive. Amen. At dawn, he appeared again in the temple court where all the people gathered around him and he sat down to teach them. In other words, many crowds was before him when he was about to teach. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in, the, in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was touched in the act of what? Adultery. In the law of Moses commanded us to stone such woman. Now, what do you say? Amen. Amen. They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they all kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Amen. Amen. Again, he stood up down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who had begun to go away one at a time, the older ones first, until the only, only Jesus was left, with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, Go now and leave your life of sin. Which is go and sin no more. May you be seated in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the sisters. You know, in this life, right, there are certain people that when they make mistakes, they feel sorry about it. And there are certain people also, when they are being cast in a circumstances where something that they know they have done that is not right, it's not good, and they catch them, they always feel sorry and regret and very, very pain, and they even ask for forgiveness. Amen. Amen. So, which is they are sorry about what was wrong, that was not right, how they treated you, that was not good, and they ask for what? Forgiveness. Well, there are certain people in this world. They never feel sorry about anything that they do. Praise the Lord. I said, there are certain people in this world, they never feel sorry about anything that they do. They don't even care how you feel. They don't even care what they said to you, whether it hurts you, or whether you are in pain. They don't give a damn. We have such people also in this world. Praise the Lord. And I want you, brothers and sisters, the message said, where are your accusers? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
And this one that he said he was catching the act of adultery. Praise the Lord. There were two people that was in the act. The only one person that was snatched to Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I then asked myself, why was only one person snatched to Jesus to be what? To be accused. Why not both two people that was found in the act of what? Adultery. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But I want you to understand that the woman that they snatched to Jesus was not who they are after. The woman was just a victim, just to get what? To Jesus. And she was used because they know they believe in the law of Moses. They know that the law of Moses to the Pharisees and the Sadducees is sent by God. The law of Moses is from God. And there's no way that Jesus Christ is going to go against the law of what? Moses. If he can do it, they will redirect the stones that was made for the woman to him. So they know very well. That is the reason why when he was in public teaching, people were listening to him about the living word of God. They snatched this woman in the act and they throw her before Jesus. You know, there are two things I want you to understand. They have something we call private sin and secret sin. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You agree with me. Yes, we have private sin and secret sin. Okay. And we have also sin that has been exposed to the public. And then they say, no. So, private sin is like when we're growing up, the father said, whatever that happened in this house, it stays in this house. If you dare take it outside, you are in trouble. That is private. So we solve it among ourselves. So when we solve it among ourselves, we can easily overcome it and move on. But a sin that has been exposed publicly is so easy to overcome it. Those sins bring trauma, it brings humiliation, and it can also terrify you psychologically. And physically, you can be become disturbed. And the sin that has been exposed to the public is become public ridicule. It doesn't easily disappear. You know why? Because they will throw all the stones at you. And the stones may not be now, but the stones are the comment section through the Twitter, through the Facebook. All the world will have something to say about you, even though they don't even know you. Everyone will have an opinion about how the situation has happened. That is the new stone, the modern stones that they are throwing at each other. Because the sin was exposed to everyone to have opinion about you. So everyone will be talking about it, even though you don't even know how it happened. So, public ridicule brings trauma. And that trauma causes people to commit suicide. If they cannot overcome it easily, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Which is, in other words, what they did to the woman was well, just to expose her publicly. And that public ridicule will have caused pain before this one. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know sometimes what baffles me as a man of God? If God, if God deal with us according to our own sin, I'm telling you, our first will be where we are. Are you not hearing? I say, if God dealt with me and you according to our own sin, None of us will be where we are. But you know what? God is powerful. Somebody say powerful. powerful. God is holy. Somebody say holy. holy. God is pure. Somebody say pure. pure. And God is faithful. Yes. So you know what he did? He overlooked me and you, our iniquities. And he said to us, that I am the light of this world. And whoever that walk with me will not walk in what? Darkness. I will have the light, the light of life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In other words, my iniquities was horrible. But God said, I have overlooked it. So why don't you show the same message to your brother, sister, and brother? Why right now begin to analyze the mistake in the past. Now use it against him. Or a husband, or a wife, that reminding the wife about the horrible behavior of the past. 
it makes no sense. You don't bring unity in the home. But you bring rather this unity. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God will overlook you and me our sins. And he did not talk about it. He did not say how long it is. He said, I will overlook you. I died and take it over. So therefore, it is time for a sinner that has been forgiven to show forgiveness to another fellow sinner. Praise the Lord. Amen. But when the time came, he forgot himself. And they started accusing each other from the same sin that they themselves have also done before. That is, God showed them mercy. The same mistake that we did in the past. That God will not lose. You are praying and praying and praying. This is what they did. But you enter into a place and a man of God that God has blessed through his prayer thing to keep them around. Which is, the Lord has removed the darkness. The light of favor will follow you. So when such person return back to the world, it means that you have forgotten how far the Lord has brought you and what the Lord has done for you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, that's why. He said, shall we continue in sin? And he said, may grace abound or may grace increase. He said, certainly not. For we already dead in sin. And he died for us and delivered me and you out of sin. So why did that sin that he saved you from, you take yourself and get in? That is why sometimes <coughs> God, that is why sometimes God, some of us, we expose our sin publicly. For some of us, we are stubborn. We are stubborn to the whispering voices and the warning that God gives us. Let me tell you, there is no way that before something will happen to you, you never get a warning from the Lord. There is no way. You know what? Eh? The moment you are about to leave, you will forget to have it in the house. You will miss the boss. A sign that there is something that God is only thinking about. The things that you normally do. That moment, you forgot everything. And you know for yourself that I can speak very confidently. But today, you cannot speak. You become mute. That is why the church now is mute when it comes to sin. Because the leaders themselves, they are involved in this sin and corruption. So they cannot talk about sin. When they themselves, they are in sin. They cannot talk about sin. So now, the sin, sin dress in himself, refine himself with nice clothes, and present himself like an angel. But within the heart, they are corrupt and evil. Because the church don't talk about it again. If you talk about it, as a man of God, you will not come back and again. No. That man was talking about me. I know. My wife has told me. Something about me. She's preaching about me. But when God is, that is a sign of, we call it warning. God always gives us, he whispers in our ears. God always whispers. He gives us direction so many ways. And that one is just to remind you, my son, my daughter, don't forget how far the good Lord has brought you. Hold on to you. For it is the goodness of the Lord, it is the faithfulness of the Lord that has made you and me to be where we are today. Somebody say amen. 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 And for that reason, when we overlook it and don't remember it, then God says, This is my son. That's why you say, how far God is missing, don't know how to honor me and appreciate me. Then what you do, you will no longer let your sin be secret. You will expose it publicly. Mm -hmm. It gets to teach you and me a lesson. Mm -hmm. That is one of the reasons why some of our brothers and sisters, their sin is being exposed. God wants to teach them a lesson to get them to do his work, his bidding. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So this woman that was snatched, you know when they say something is snatched, it's like, it's like, a paper from somebody's hand. When you snatch it, that's how they snatch this one in the act of what? Adultery. But in the act of adultery, there are two people. One must one be the mediator and one be the off the hook. Does it make sense? No. But in those days, they said, when you are being found in the act of adultery, the woman should be humiliated, but the man should let go. Does it make sense? No. You see why Jesus Christ came to say, I did not come to stone the sinner. But I came and the sinner may have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So God did not come to condemn you of your past. 
But I can't let you and your past is no longer interested. But if you are willing to walk with the Lord, you will not walk in darkness. But you shall have the light of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So what you see has already been before you became a being of a human being. What it is that you are talking about has already existed before you came. And when you believe in God and you accept in your heart, he said, You will not walk in darkness. Which is wherever you are going, that there is trouble, the Lord will prepare you not to go there, not to fall into all the trouble that the enemy has planned for you. That is when you walk with the Lord, you will not walk into darkness. Master. Because the owner of the land is a master. Yeah. And the 
settler that is coming in is a slave. But later, the settler now became a master. Why the owner of the land now be put to death for age? These same people have brought the woman before Jesus. Their own aim is that this woman will be stoned to death. But I asked myself, where was the man? He was gone. Nowhere to be found. When they put the woman there, they now ask Jesus, are you going to kill allow us to kill them? Or you are going to dishonor Moses? And then make Moses' message that he came to preach when become useless and this one become more important. <coughs> you know, sometimes when somebody is talking to you and you know the person is talking rubbish, sometimes it's not good to even answer the person. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody may be talking, you know that what the person is saying it makes no sense. You don't even waste your time to answer them. Like our parents, when you come and ask them certain things, and they know that what you are talking doesn't make sense. They will not, they will not even give answer. And when you repeat, you say that hardly. It means it is something thing you are saying. I'm not going to waste my time for you. Mm -hmm. Those Sadducees and the Pharisees who claim to be holy and hold to the true word of God. And they brought this woman to Jesus and believed he stole to them. The question they raised before Jesus, Jesus did not answer them. He went on the ground and started dying. You know the government part? He wrote your sin on the ground. And the one beside you, he wrote his own sin. And now you read that he was the one actually speaking with the wife. And he also read that he was the one at that machine as well. Will you disagree with him? No. <laughs> Will you disagree with him? Have you two cost time about yourself? Yeah. When he went from the ground and started writing, without uttering any word, because he knows that those who are about to stone this one, they are seen. It's even more horrible than the one they are about to condemn. But if you don't know it today, I will let you know about yourself, yeah. all of you, your families. So he went down there gently and he started writing. He wrote Pastor Holy Spirit. And the member begin to read. Say, hey, this man of God, Jesus. Oh no, he's not who he, I thought he was. Now, the man of God also read that his ushers actually are the one causing problems in his church. Everyone begins to discover that we all have something that is called secret sin. And only God knows it. But God has overlooked it. He has over what? Overlooked our sin. It does not count it against you. He said, it covers our sins with the multitude of what? Love. Amen. So don't forget how far God has brought you. And don't forget what the Lord has done for you. He's willing to do all if only you walk with the light and not walk in darkness. When Jesus saw that the place is white, he's creating a college of fire. And you look up. You know those people you have first? The old ones. No, the old elderly ones always think they know everything. Mm -hmm. Elderly ones always think that they have answer to everything. Mm -hmm. And there are some great men who are great that the advice they give to their children has caused their children's marriage to be collapsed. Yeah. Yeah. The elderly one begin to run away first. And when they run away, Jesus then asks, What are your accusers? They said, sir, no one is left. And they told the woman, woman, go, go and live your life of sin. Which is go and sin no more. What I want you to know and take out of this premise I'm going to give you is that God is not interested in your past mistake. God is not interested in the person who deceived you. Who because of that you say I won't go to church. Everyone carries on cross. Yeah. When the judgment time comes. But the time will surely come and God will ask you and me. In your own time, what did you do? In your own time, how did you serve the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that one, that day, and that hour will surely come. And when it comes, God expects all of us. God expects all of us to be in the position, in the position where he will have a reason 
to say, my son, my daughter, you are done well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is, Jesus said, I did not come to condemn what was said by Moses. But I came to add some to it. In other words, he did not come to stone the sinner to death. But rather, he came that the sinner may have what? Life. That the sinner may have what? Life. And have it more above that. So which is, if you allow your past to hold you, you cannot progress. If you allow your past to hinder you, you cannot achieve your aim on this earth. For God said, He did not come to punish the sinner according to his own sins. And as I said, if God wants to deal with us according to our own sin, all of us will have been destroyed. I say no.
He said, it was a sinner that was about to show another sinner. Exactly. That has forgotten that he has been forgiven. God said, we should show the same mercy, the same kindness to foreign brothers and sisters. And we should not be judgmental how people speak, how people dress, how people behave. The way you were brought up is different from the way she or he was brought up. But you that filled the wisdom that was enlightened, Educate, enlightened, empowered, and strengthened by the word of the living God. And the people, and the people shall have the chemistry of love in their heart. And they will be willing to hear more and more and more from you. Praise the Lord. So, brothers and sisters, it is not about who is looking at you. It's not about how magnificent or how big your problem was. Those things. It's all interested to God. If it's really interested to God, then God, has, God, then God made mistake. We are appointed Saul that later became Apostle Paul. Then I say God made mistake. But no, he did not make a mistake. When he called Apostle Paul, you know why he called him? Because he was looking for a man with confidence, fearless, and wisdom. But at the end of the day, that same Apostle Paul was a member. Isn't it? Yes. Those who know the Bible, he was a member. Yeah. Moses was also a member. Yeah. But God said, Moses, it's you. I'm sending you to my people in Egypt to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Yeah. Of all the people, why didn't you call Aaron? Aaron was delicate. We can speak very well. I did not use Aaron. Use Moses. Now Moses has sustained in his hands. But God overlooked it. And he gave him the opportunity to make a difference in the life of himself, in the life of others. May the Spirit of God that surpasses and subdue all demonic spirit abide with you, empower you, Amen. and strengthen you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. Amen. I thank you for the living word of God. And as come, I say, Lord, you are not to accuse us, but you are to what? To give us hope. Amen. You are to give us joy. Amen. You are to give us second chance. Amen. We pray that you will plant within our hearts the spirit of love, Amen. the spirit of kindness. Amen. That as you were shown mercy upon us, who will reciprocate the same mercy of all our brothers and sisters. Amen. Thank you for the living word of God. May your people be strengthened. Amen. May your people be empowered. Amen. Cleanse them from their evil iniquities. Amen. Cleanse them from the spirit that has come to oppress them to suppress them. Amen. Father, we are in the month of November. December is almost coming to an end. We pray that every brother, sister, young, old, that is before your holy presence, guide them. Amen. Protect them. Amen. And everything that you have made possible for them, may the enemy never snatch it from their hand. Yeah. I pray for guidance and protection Amen. all the days of the remaining months that is left. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you, mighty Amen. God. In Jesus' name we pray.